Hello, my lovelies. It's the start of another vlog. It is bright and early. Well, I say bright and early. It is Sunday the 14th of May. I've actually been up since six, but I've just had a bath. I'm all freshened up. Please excuse all the washing in the back. Life, you know, um, but I'm gonna do a little bagel first because I am hungry. I didn't have much to eat yesterday and now I am absolutely starving. So I thought, you know what? A nice little Warburton's protein bagel because there's, oh, would help if you turn the toaster on, Shan. Um, you know when you get that sicky feeling and I'm like, oh no, I can't be traveling to London if I've got me sicky feeling, but I'm just having the Warburton's protein thin bagels. Today, Today is the day, let's get it off the fridge. We are at Hard Rock Cafe, my lovelies. Now, funny story, good job I checked it. Because I thought we was going to the Hard Rock at Oxford Street. No, it's Old Park Lane, so I literally would have got us the wrong train and troop there. Would not have been a, a funny moment. So yeah, I found out which trains and troops we need to get into London for that. But I'm just gonna have a little bagel with some butter. I'm not gonna go with like all me, uh, normally I have me uh, Philadelphia soft herb with me cucumber, none of that. I just literally need something to line my stomach. Um, we have a three course, is it a three course meal? Dining with wine and a t-shirt at Hard Rock Cafe for two. To be honest, I'm not gonna lie, I can't remember what it involves. I don't know if it's just a main, I don't know if it's a free call. I'm not too sure, but food's food. I didn't think there was drinks, so at least we've got wine with it. Not gonna lie though, I have been eyeing up the cocktails. I have been eyeing up the cocktails, and see, it's probably not the greatest because we've got wine, and I thought, you know what, I wanna have a nice drink today, okay? Gonna have a nice drink. No filming to be done. Well, yesterday, um, if you know all the shenanigans in our uh, little street, I had noise from Footloose upstairs till half six at night, and we had demolition works until half five yesterday. With all of the rules and everything, our borough say that your building and demolition on a Saturday needs to stop at one. So I thought that's fine. I went to the gym, I had a little walk into town, thought one o'clock, I'll get ready for filming. No. So that didn't actually go to plan. So I might even insert a clip of the noise that I had at five o'clock this yesterday evening, just so you can get like an understanding of how I couldn't film. So now I've got to film two, possibly three videos when I come back. But I might be a little bit tipsy and I'm gonna be bloated because I would have eaten and they're try on clips. So, I don't quite know how that is going to work. So, if you see a few um, fashion hauls and think, she looks a little bit tipsy. Nine times out of ten, I've probably filmed it after this video. But, we're still going to have a good day nonetheless. The weather is a little bit meh. They said it's supposed to be nice. It's supposed to be like up until 18 today. But looking at it at the moment, it looks very overcast. Like it still potentially could rain. I, oh my goodness. Whew. That scared me popping up like that, Mr. Warburton. Oh, oh, lovely bagels. Lovely bagels. Not too um, not too crisp, just right. Oh, they're hot. Oh, um, I am still in that mindset of I need to take an umbrella out with me. So uh, that is exactly what I will be doing. Ah, hat, hat, hat. I will still be taking my umbrella out with me. And hopefully I won't need it. But, you know, I don't want to chance fate. And... Me and mum was going to wear dresses today. I was like, I don't really want to wear a dress with the way the weather is looking, to be honest. So I'm thinking, potentially I might wear my chinos that I got from Primark this month. That with maybe a nice blouse. Not too sure. I mean, all I can focus on at the moment is food. Not going to lie, because I'm like salivating looking at this right about now. Um, you will see... You would have already seen mum's reveal. So I haven't actually got to hide mum's hair in this one. When I was doing her reveal video, I was having to like hide her hair under a shower cap, but I haven't got to do that. I am, however, going to have a glass of water because, you know, say when you have that 
icky feeling. It's it's not nice, is it? I just want a little glass. I don't want a full glass. Because there's nothing worse, I think, than having that like oh, feeling. And I feel like my sugar's a little low, probably because I as I, say, I didn't eat much yesterday at all. So I feel a little bit. Yeah. So I'm gonna go eat my breakfast and then I'll probably check in with you where me and Mum are getting ready. Let's have another memory day in London, eh? It is, <coughs> however, because Excuse Mum me. has I don't know, Mum sweats a lot and her hair is already greasy, so I mean We had it done Thursday, didn't we? <laughs> oh it looks like Mum. Thank done. goodness we have some dry shampoo. Oh. I've also got the straighteners out because I think we're gonna give it a little bit of a straighten. Oh no. It'll be okay. Oh. Well, if now not, I'll have to quick, to... if not, I'll have to quickly damp it down and just tail dry it. Right, just lean your head back a little bit. Do you want me to run the comb? No, no, that's all right. Dry shampoo, I think, could start to become mum's best friend. But with it being this short now, it's going to take minutes to wash, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's going to be a lot more manageable for you. Yeah, but I can just... Uh... If I had a bald head, I'd just take it off and wash it in the sink. It's going to be a lot more manageable for you. All right. But when mum had short hair before, I'm going to have to look. I thought I had some, but mum just used to put a little bit of mousse in it when it was wet. Yeah. And no, no, not, to... not mousse. Uh, when it, I, when it was, I... it was like a foamy thing, Yeah, wasn't but it? when I was young, I used to put towel dry it, put a bit of gel in it and use Nanny G's uh, Afro comb. And just go through like that, and because I, I used to have short, sparky hair when I was in the construction farm, it did. You can open your eyes. Oh. Like the dry shampoo, it gives it a little bit. Of oh volume. my god, not too much of a bouffant shan. No, no, we're going to flatten it down. But right. We just need to take right. the greasiness right. out of it. All right, you haven't brushed your hair properly. Yes, I have. Mum, Mom, you've got a big knot at the bottom. I know, but don't do it like that. <laughs> I expect I own ten out of ten rating for. Me. Mum, you have you have a brush gently. I I <laughs> It's because oh, you gently. ruffled it all up, isn't it? We need to get it ruffled. You still got a little bit bald. I think oh, right. now it's shorter. What do you gonna... mean bald? <laughs> <laughs> You've got a few little patches, but I think oh, now I never. Now you got a bit thin on top. I'm not. Yeah, gonna I know lie. that. Yeah. Um, but I think now it's shorter. I'm gonna start. I'll give you me um. Aussie hair masks I'm not and we'll doing start no, I'm trying not, to thicken no, it up. No, I'll just uh, do what Uncle John used to do with Carol, burn the ends. <laughs> no. Uh. Now, you didn't, did you have a parting or anything? Well, Carly you? said it seemed to go that side that you're there. Right, so we'll just, we'll go with it, but we might just fluff it all back. All right. And then I've put, I've got my um, VO5 plump it back moment <clears> spray to try and give it and a And also, when I was young, and you know when I had you... Yeah. I used to wash my hair and I had a little tiny brush and I used to blow dry it because on one side of my eye, the fringe used to sort of come over my eye, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. She used to look like Gabrielle the singer. No, not right like that, but... <coughs> the only thing now, I think, where you've had it so short, you're going to struggle not putting it in a ponytail. No, no, flat. well, I... I'd, but but you, you can put it in a little clip. Like, you could take one of my... Um, well, you'll have to show me. Up. But uh, what was I going to say? That soon uh, will grow, won't it? It'll grow. That's why I wouldn't mind having my head shaved for charity. <laughs> you know? Because you've seen me with my head shaved, didn't you? With well, I haven't hair. seen you in person. <clears throat> no, with the picture. But I've seen you uh, in photos. Yeah, yeah. Because I went to the hairdresser that day and I didn't like it, so my sister-in-law shaved it off. Right, it's just about where... Because it's just going to fall back, I think. I think you might just have like a middle part, you know, I don't quite... Well, it's probably, I said to uh, the Edison lady, it's probably where it's been so long, I've just pulled it back, hasn't it? With the, uh, with the ponytail. I think if you were to like flick it up and down, we'll put a little bit of backcombing spray in it. Yeah, don't backcomb it. No, right? no, just a little bit of volume. Oh. And then I think if you was to just flip your head up and let it fall down. No, I can't do that because I'm sitting down. <laughs> no, when you get up, oh. 
Fluff it out and just see how your hair falls naturally. Oh. It does look better now it's straightened from the back. Yeah, yeah. But try and flatten that bit out there. That's it. Are you going to wear earrings? Yeah, my, well, I'll look for a pair. I'm not just looking, one of my earlobes is longer than the other. Look at that. I'll have to keep pulling this one down. Right, mum is all ready. I now need to oh, sort can, can you not just see what it's like with that little quiff? You want a quiff? Let me get a quiff. Uh, only a, a quick one, because if not, you can comb it down. I don't know if we're still in the quiff stage. Is it not long enough? No, but I don't know. Oh, because I might look like Bam Bam out of uh, Flintstones. That's what I'm saying. I don't yeah. know if the quiff stage is a thing at the moment. No, no, because I'm old. No. I don't know. No, I don't think no. we're in a no. stage for the quiff. Oh. I'd say flip your head upside down and we'll <clears> see <throat> how it sits after. Oh. And now I need to get ready because I still ain't got a clue. Thank so, you. Salon of Shannon done. <laughs> she give me the bill later, viewers. I know it's a little bit too much for sure. So cold, but we're always coming back for more. It goes in this wicked game, it's all for sure. Oh, I've got you. red today i'm very very red but i'm going to put a jacket on and i'm still going to have an umbrella because the way it looks outside i'm yeah, not yeah. chancing right. it so i'm thinking i'm going to have that and i'm bringing a different bag out today guys i'm bringing oh yes my doc martin satchel uh That's not satchel nice. briefcase this isn't a new one no this is a very very old one actually i haven't really used that much so i thought you know what we're going to go for a briefcase vibe why well, don't you put your doc martin boots on then no, I don't think DMs oh, will okay go with the dress. Right, okay. And because I wore That's new nice. boots, this I think is Florence and Fred. <clears throat> what last year? Mm. Oh. Because I wore my new Tommy Hilfiger boots this week at work and I started to get blisters. So I'm right, just in we, my comfy yeah. Primark loafers. <clears throat> but I've actually got a bit of jewellery on today. I actually have my Vivian Westwood bracelet and my Vivian Westwood ring, which yeah. I have not worn these probably Since in years. You, no. You got that at Bond Street. I don't think you've worn it ages, have you? I was surprised it still fit. Yeah. It's very snug, but we're well, going to go no with No earrings it. or necklace? No, no. joker. The no. earrings are a little bit too big. I think the earrings yeah. I'll wear in my second holes, or if I got them re-pierced a oh, little right. bit higher. And then the necklace, I'm worried that the red might stain the pearls. Because have you only just got the fifth joker? No, I do You've have a, a long necklace. one, but yeah. it's a really big one, and I don't oh, want to yeah, the on the dress. Yeah. So I'm thinking, <clears> I just <throat> went for bracelet and rings today. I thought better than nothing. Um, I do think I might treat myself to the pearl bracelet for my birthday. Oh, what, to match the necklace? Yeah, I think oh, I right. might do that. Is it a clasp or is it a spring? It's a clasp like that. They're oh, all right. I have right. to have it on the tightest setting because I have a diddy wrist and even then that's still a little I bit I remember loose. when we went up because she's got a Vivian Westwood belt for us but she needs it took in. buckles yeah. put in the stamps. And you got sunglasses, were not it? Sunglasses Ring. that I can't see out of because I'm blind as a bat. Ring, sunglasses and belt, won't it? Yeah. Yeah. So I think we'll, uh, <clears throat> that I think will be something I might pick up for my birthday. I will actually show you my what I got for my birthday vlog. The few little treats I got with the YouTube earnings. I got some new DMs and a few little boots and maybe a little bag. I mean, who knows? Yeah. But everything you see now will be phone footage. But I am blooming excited. I have looked at the menu. Nice. <laughs> I've seen the calories. We actually get a glass of wine with this one. Oh, well, very good view. Dining very with good. the wine. I don't that, know if that's it's... why I've got the expanding blares. I don't know if it's a three course or whether it's just a main oh, and a glass of wine, but we get a t shirt and there's a museum well, there and there's a gift each? shop. I think so, yeah. <gasps> so I'm very excited because if there's a gift shop, I want some little yeah. shop glasses to go with my hard rock Cancun stuff. And where, where are we going? 
Hard Rock Cafe in Old Park Lane. Oh, right. Well, let's see if they've got a magnet or pin. Yeah, we'll yep. look for the older yep. things because I would Ooh. like to collect bits if I go to the Hard Rock trains. Yeah. But yes, we are off out. Everything will be phone footage and I've seen the calories on the menu. This is most definitely going to be a cheat day because oh, that's all right, one Janet. of our meals is probably more, it actually is more than the calories I'm allowed in a day. So No, but you got on the scale today and it's very good, wasn't it? Slowly I'm not going to say there, nothing. But yeah. yeah, so... My little muffin tops. Oh, we're right about that. My muffin tops here, viewers. <laughs> let's get to London and let's have some food. I'm looking forward to the onion rings. Will they beat Marco Pierre White's? That's going to be the test. Oh, we'll be the test, yes. We will test the onion rings. <laughs> you have the time of your life every single night. The confetti's raining down. You put your hands to the sky, center of the crowd. You're the talk of the town. I tell myself I don't want that What glitters sink gold I tell myself I don't need it Cause I'm fine on my own But I hate being on the outside Looking through a window I say I don't want it But I'm so full of it I wanna be the life of the party
just want to look into your eyes You know you make me feel like I'm alive Well that food was lovely What did you think of the food? Lovely, lovely, lovely Mummy's moaning about her feet. <laughs> and it's hot for yours. We've just gone past Buckingham Palace. Mum saw a guard there. I said it's amazing how many people actually come to London for Buckingham Palace and like seeing the balcony where they all come out on. Yeah. Because last week would have been the coronation last yeah, Saturday. Yeah, it went round, wouldn't it? And last Sunday was the concert, wasn't it? The yeah. Was the, no, the concert was at Windsor, I think, somewhere yeah. else. It's a lovely day. I'm slightly starting to feel the baileys with the heat and i've got a film when i get back so <laughs> this is gonna be fun <laughs> but the food was amazing yes, absolutely yes. loved it i definitely want to go back there and also try the one in oxford street yeah that'd be fun we'll have a day shopping right we are back. We will tell you, I think, an overall at the end because we've also got a few things from the gift shop. We did get a free t-shirt, which there was a little bit of a sizing drama <laughs> when they showed mum her one. Yes. So um, we had a little predicament with that, but we have got some bits and bobs from the gift shop to show you later on, but that'll be when we're like hair up, no makeup, done and dusty, ready for bed. But. We had a few parcels while we was at, so I've just unboxed one and I've just lifted the lid up and I was like, oh, presents. So, let's flip that thing. This is from, I won't read the note because the note's very personal, but this is, mum can read it while I'm talking, from one of our very lovely friends, Livy, who sent mum the Christmas tree and your heated blanket. Yes. Mum's going to zone out and... Uh, uh, no, right, is lovely, Livy. <laughs> Can I read this silent? Yeah, yeah, I'll, right, I'll read right, it. It's right. personal. Um, so yeah, I opened it up and I was like, oh, not for the fact that we could eat a single thing more at the moment, but she just sent us a whole box of goodies. And there are some things in here which I have never seen. So um, best believe I'm going to be DMing you and being like, where did you get these? Because I need to hook myself up. Let um, mum absorb the letter. It's a very lovely little letter. Oh. And I love the paper. This little doggy paper with the best is yet to come. You're welcome, Livy. You're welcome, my darling. But look, she sent us a whole bag of and snacks. And your daughter as well. Oh, wow. Snacks. So, I love these. These are going straight in my car. We're going to have to divide these up, right? Uh, Okay, I'm sure. <laughs> Mentos minty chews. Always love a little chew in the morning. You can have what you like, right? I've never seen these. You know the skinny whip? We can both have these. You know the bars? No, I'll have those. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> these yes, are we'll share. No, skinny we'll, whip. We'll share them, Liv. Minis? Yeah. Coconut and dark chocolate. So, Liv obviously knows that we love the bars because oh. there is a bar each for us in there. We have our Skinny Whips mint chocolate, but I've never seen the minis. But she does say to me, Livy, because they're only 80 calories, Mum, you can have one, but I have two or three at night. I said it doesn't mean yes. you have all the calories in one whole box. Who worries, Livy? Who worries, darling? These, I saw the top of these and I was like, oh. I need it. Fruit salad wafers. Uh, we're going to have to keep this secret and hope Dada doesn't see it. <laughs> because he will say... Mm -mm. Where did that lady I get them from? I have never seen them before. No. And I've actually started getting into wafers because Tesco do wafers. And they're only like 50 calories a thing. So I've got a pack oh, in right, there right. for like a little sweet treat. These are me. I love a Skittles. Ooh, but they're not the crunchy ones. They're just a chewy one. Oh, There's lovely, no lovely. Oh, we share those. Okay, that's going to be in the share piles. Yeah. Sweeties. As I say, I am actually feeling quite full up. I don't know if it's from the food or the drink. Probably from the drink, Livy. 
Mum said when I was um, doing the shots, there was a group of girls outside that was probably not best pleased with the way they was looking at me doing the shots. Their mother was like, mm. <laughs> There's me like, doo doo. <clears throat> Do do. But it's not, nice an, it's not an everyday livery, but we're out again next Sunday, so. <laughs> but next Sunday is going to be like etiquette. It's Harrods champagne afternoon tea. Yeah, yeah. So there's not going to be any necky uh, shots. But what there will be will be a detour to the food court downstairs, and we need to get some sushi. Yes, before we leave, before we leave. So that Maybe could be a good day. Maybe livery. I don't yeah. know if you've ever had it before. That could be actually a very Where nice... Where does Livy live? I'm not too sure. Oh. I will ask her when I send right, her a message right. and thank her for this. Right. But um, yeah, next week is going to be a refined afternoon at. But them shots I had was lovely. And Mom, hopefully the weather's like this today, Livy. It's so lovely. It's going to be nice. Um, yeah. Mum took like a sip of the brandy off of one of the shots because lovely. it was a bit too... It was Grand Marnie and I was yeah, like, oh. It was, but that mixed with the clue and brandy all in one was actually very nice. Was it very warming, like Glover, mm. like Granddad used to have? But I did like the Bailey's Blue Curaco and the Creme de Banana. That was very nice. That no, was called bubblegum. I, bubble I, I could smell the, smell the yeah, banana. Yeah, my friend smell it. And I was like, and it I love smells bananas. like pure banana. Yeah. And it had the Blue Curaco, which is, I always remember what they put in Blue Lagoon on holiday. Yeah, to give yeah. It that colour. Yeah. I did want to try the other three shots, but mum told me no. We'll try that next time. But yeah, mum said, oh, when you've done that shot, she was like, the girls outside kind of just stared at you. I was like, oopsie. And when I ordered it, I said to the lady with the dessert, I was like, can we have a B-52 and a bubble gum? And she was like, oh, you naughty. Thinking that was one one. When she put it, I was like, yeah, both for me. <laughs> but, but did you see a bottle of Corona was £6, so I, that's why I had the one. Might as well have a shot. Oh, we've got different mentors here. We've got mint crumbles. Oh, okay. Oh, so we've got oh. mint chews and mint crumbles. Oh, right. we'll decide. We'll decide. We could just that. Oh, this is, yeah, this is mum all over. Walnut whips. I don't deal with They're walnut mine. whips. Yes, thank you. <laughs> These, I haven't seen these. Kit Kat bites with Lotus Biscoff. Now, mm. I've started to actually really like Lotus Biscoff we've at got, the moment. We've got a jar in the cupboard, don't we? We can put it on toast and try it. Toast? Yeah, just oh, see. I was going to do like a, a tart or something. Oh, maybe. and or do like tart cookies. Or... They're going to be nice because I have actually started, I don't mind a bit of Lotus Biscoff at the moment. Oh my God, these are for me. Oh. The skinny yeah, chocoholic, right, I love these. Yes. I haven't seen these in my local shop for ages. <gasps> They're coming to work with me tomorrow. Right, these are mum's tea cakes. Tonics. Mum's <laughs> tea cakes. Okay, the new, Vicky. Okay, the new. <gasps> I don't mean that disrespectful to the Scottish people or broken. <laughs> Guiltless fun size, 21 mini bars. Guiltless whip bar, toffee flavour, double chocolate and mint chocolate. A, oh, salted, a, a, a salted mini nougat bars with crisp rice coated in chocolate and milk chocolate. Oh, that's <gasps> right. How many calories? Can we eat all the bag? Less than 39 per bag. Oh, that's right. That's all my bag. <laughs> Ooh. And that high in fibre. I've never seen them. You guys, because I say to you, where do you get these? And then you send me an email or a message and you're like, oh, we get it in our bargain shop or we get it at this shop. No, I never see these in my local supermarket Yeah, but do you shops. remember uh, the lady up Scotland, her and her daughter? Oh, another one. But they get things up there, the tonics <gasps> things, that we can't get down here, innit? These are coming straight yeah. to work with me. Dime. I'm actually very addicted to dime. So much that I've actually got a pack on the bedside That's table. That's the uh, little crunchy thing in the middle, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And then what's this? Oh! Happy... No sugar, no calorie, all natural. Happy Smiley. One's cherry, one's pink lemonade. They're cute. Oh, all right, they're good. Carbonated uh, cherry flavour soda and carbonated raspberry and lemon flavour soda. Right, oh, that, I like them. She's got half a glass of pims there, Liv. I said, she don't have them more today. She's got water now. <laughs> I've got my pims yeah. on the side from last night. Oh, that's Mummy G. I hope you like it. Oh, thank you. Let's have a look. Oh, what is all this? Shannon, oh, I love it. It's like all Christmas all over again. Yes, we love parcels. Oh, no, we shouldn't say What is this? <gasps> oh, yes. We all know. I Oh. Oh, it's vanilla. Oh, my God, you can't have a gonk. Oh. Oh, my God, but look what it is. King Charles the Third, Coronation May. You've got a coronation gonk. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I haven't did even know they did coronation yeah. going on. He's got his, his little thing here. She stuck a thing there. Well done, Livy. He's got his little flags. Look. Oh. I, I was thinking, because did you. Oh, I, I thought there was a candle. Oh, that's good. Another gong. Oh my god, they, I didn't even know they done. Me neither. For coronation Me neither. day. 
Thank you so much, How? baby. Oh my god, that's gonna go. And Mom's your daughter, thank you. Window sill is actually yes. full of gongs. If anybody goes past uh, <laughs> Livy, the the builders, they think I'm a bit, you know. You've got the Valentine's one on. Yeah, You've got yeah, the yeah. one on. Oh my god, I've got a little body boob candle. And now I've which... got the King Charles the Third one. I know. I don't know. I see so. Don't smash the window. Try and get it. <laughs> I've got another little bus to go on with my others. I love that. And then what's this? I light up. <gasps> oh, that's a cute one. Oh my god, we've got another light. I've got right. These are definitely going on Mum's window sill. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they so good. Where do you find these things? I've got the little spring. Yeah, I don't know. I'm putting them away. <laughs> you know when Shannon moves uh, live, they're going to be my children. I'm going to be talking oh, to them at night. Oh, you've got a matching one. Oh. You've got grey and pink. Oh, right. Well, you like pink, don't you? Oh. And they've got flowers in the hay. That can be the main one and you can have the lady. <gasps> oh, my God. Where do you find all of these guys? Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Livy. And there's a... Uh, I've got one piece. <laughs> Mom, the guy one. You've like, got yours you're, with yes, King yes. Charles. I'll watch you because she'll come in, Livy, and start sneaking them out. I've got mine with my little booty. <clears throat> Plenty of snacks. <clears throat> you will you see want, these along with our vlogs. Yeah, we'll yeah, put the snacks in the vlogs. You will see the snacks in the vlogs because I'm actually yeah. very intrigued to try this guiltless but for now I actually physically couldn't eat a single thing more. I'm very intrigued about the fruit salad wafers as well. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, I'll quite like trying them. Kit Kat Biscoffs, I'm looking forward to them. Skinny so, Minis, I love them. So this is what is in the shell. The yeah, it's just bit. no shell on it. Yeah, yeah. I like these drinks as well. Yeah. They look funky. No sugar, no calories. Absolutely fabulous. Well, I'm not worried about this, Shannon. I can't be chocoholic. That's my tonics. Yeah, your tonics are there. Yeah, and then that there. Thank you, Livy. I yeah. will drop you a message on Instagram, my darling. But for now, Mum's going to chill. I need to film at least one haul. I'm going to do an Asda because there's not too much to try on. Oh, that's good. Nothing go back? We keep them I don't think nothing's no, going no. back to Asda. But like, I can't do much try on because I literally do have a food baby right now. Well, do you so, have to do it today, then? Yeah, because it's tomorrow's upload. Oh, all right. <laughs> so, so you'll so be what seeing do you this. Do? do it and then record it and put it up now? I'll pull it up for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Seeing as I lost out on timings yesterday because yeah. of Bob the Builder next door. Oh, it was horrendous, Livy. Horrendous, darling. So I need to like now catch up. So I think if I do this, I have Mum's makeover video that you would have already seen. And then this will go up after. And then I'll only have to sort out maybe middle of the week, the weekend ones. But if I can get caught up with like two or three videos today, I'll be happy. You've done the, your haul for primary for uh, May, haven't you? Primary's That's all done, done, isn't it? Primary's up. So yeah. I'm going to do Asda now. We haven't, we haven't got chill. to do the bang until the month, is it? The end. Muck bang is end yeah. of the month, yeah. And I wonder what we're going to have that day. What I, If we'll your viewers what... want to suggest anything they want us to try and eat. Any foods? Any takeaways or anything in particular? Not Indian, no. Sorry, yeah, girls. Yeah, no, we're scarred from our no, local Indian. No. We're scarred from the local Indian. We also do have to do a video which is possibly it's including something I really don't like to eat and mum's a bit hesitant. Oh yeah. Or yeah, I from don't your friend, know it? whether to make it like we choose a selection of things possibly. So that could be coming early. No, no, June. that could be just the uh, thing to do and see our reaction to it. We'll have a drink note to take after it. Oh, I couldn't do that drink. I'd be sick, I think. I was thinking of filming that today, but I think after... No, 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 not today. Bailey's, We've had too much. Rum, yeah. all of but that. But I'm jazz, saying we I'd could just make, make that a, a film, me and you trying that. And just just trying that one product? Yeah, yeah. It would be a long video, because I'm not going to lie, I'd be gagging central. You might be all right. No, I, don't, I can't even look... touch it in a bag. I, I will literally, when you see that video, I will have to have a sick bucket <laughs> next to me. You'll be that it's just not. I can't even touch it in the bag, let alone open it. What we do? We'll open it. Drain <sighs> the shivers. Just thinking of drain it. Drain the juice, and then no, because they've said I've got to try the juice as well. Not I was drink like, it. oh no, that might be a little bit in it. Oh god. We'll let, not, we'll, let, not, we'll let the viewers... I uh, can't think of that right about now because I'm thinking of <laughs> Bailey's Kalua and then that's going to come up like absolutely not. So, the next time you see us, I think you'll probably see the check-in. I'm going to have a bath later. I'm going to film 
then we'll have a nice bath and then we'll be hair up no makeup definitely not eating anything more tonight no we're done today but then is it bad right i'm not hungry but I could really polish off, off like a bag of chips from the chippy with like loads of salt and vinegar. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know if that one opposite the shop is open, Jen, where we live. I think that's because I've had a drink. I want like that or a kebab, meat and chips. Oh, I actually no, know no. meat and chips, I'd be sick. No, no. Well, if I'm going to get a newspaper in a minute, if I see it, I'll get you a portion. <laughs> like proper chips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think it's because last night I had the last of the Harry Ramson's salt and vinegar chicken strips. Oh, right. When, next time we do an Iceland order, we'll have to get another bag of them. Yes, and yes. And you want the giant battered cod fingers. Yes, yes. And I'll probably get another thing of battered sausages <clears> as well because <throat> I really like them. Well, that fr little freezer's nearly empty, isn't it? We could transfer that to the big one because there's not much meat. Stock up on me, my proteins again. Oh, the next two weeks we've got Hello Fresh, so that's good. I don't know if I'm filming them because you've seen the recipes before, right? yeah, yeah. But we're doing them to like regulate and then we'll run like the rest of the freezer bits down. So I might do a video actually when we stock up all the freezer, like a big food warehouse Iceland haul. Let us know if you'd want to see that, yeah, because because they actually have quite decent deals. Well, there's all your stuff nearly in the Harry Ramsden, but the other little bits we can put in the big freezer, yeah. And you can do that whenever after the thing. For cut the off. McBang, perhaps, would there be any other range from Iceland you'd want us to try? Like they do Gino De Campo, mm -hmm. Greg's, Greg's, TGI Fridays. Yeah, let us know if there's anything yeah. because I can get that on me. Or Iceland if they want us to do, say, a chow mein, a curry, and, and all little things like, like that. Like a that meal I'll get deal dead. from somewhere. Yeah. Like an yeah. meal deal or a Tesco meal deal. Yeah, yeah. Let us know. I want to try mm -hmm. the McDonald's summer menu. All right, but got some menu. yeah, it's the big tasty. So they brought back the big tasty with bacon, but they do a spicy McTasty. Oh, so I don't know how you'd be with that. But I want to wait till the end of the month because apparently they're bringing out some new dips end of the month again. Oh right, right. They brought out garlic mayo dip and a mega hot. Right. But apparently, end of the month they're bringing out chipotle. I think it is, and ranch. Now I oh. do not know why we do not have ranch in England. It's ranch, that's a barbecue, isn't it? No, ranch is like a... It's a white sauce. Oh, what's chipotle? That's that thing that that's we got the in the cupboard, isn't it? That's that you said was too spicy. Yeah, yeah. But I wish oh. we had the honey and mustard sauce that they have in America. <clears throat> right. M talking about spicy very quickly, Mum had the salmon and, oh my goodness, the first bite, dramatic. No, it had a chilli on it, viewers. And you, Vicky, you had the chilli. And the lady said, just grin a berry, grin a berry. So I did. I was like, it's a little bit chilly, Mum. I was like, hurry up with that glass of wine, please. I said, quick, hurry up with the rosé, please. I absolutely loved my salad. Yeah, it was very good, wasn't it? But anyway, we'll talk to you about yeah. the food later. I am going to go and quickly film. Thank you so much once again, Livy. I will yeah. send you a message on send Instagram. Hello to her daughter. And, yep, all yeah. your family and everyone. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you so much. I will put these away because I say, apart from maybe a portion of chips, <laughs> I definitely couldn't polish off anything sweet. But I need to film a video and catch up from all yesterday. Right, so we'll see you when I definitely will not look like this. Mum will probably be in her PJs as well. Yeah, we'll see. So we'll see you in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> right, so it's actually the next day because I'm not going to lie, I was a little bit knackered after the day and probably a little bit under the influence. So, um, yes, this is the next day. I'm feeling not too bad, not too bad. We're doing good. However, the main important question who do you think wins the onion rings? Hard Rock or Marco Pierre White? Hard Rock. They will see Marco Pierre White is crispy. Yeah. Whereas the ones at Hard Rock are like breaded. I, I, can't, I can't choose. Yeah. We do love a good onion ring. So um, as you would have seen there, we had a few shots. When we say I had a few shots, mum took the sip of the brandy off of one of them for us. She wasn't keen on my cocktail, it was too strong. But I, on the other hand, thought it was lovely. We had a house white wine, which a bit dry. That's why I needed my cocktail, because I yeah, don't really yeah. do with dry wine. And, um, oh, they can't even see your face. <laughs> and then mum had a rosé, like yeah, a house rosé. So the drinks, I don't think the glasses of wine, I mean, it's London prices. 250 mil, is not it? You're going to pay that. That's a big glass yeah. back home. Um, I had a cocktail which was £13 for the cocktail or 17 and you got the glass with it. So considering the glasses were like a roughly £18, £19 as they were on their own, it seemed a no-brainer to get the cocktail with the glass. 
And the way they done it, I thought you'd literally drink the drink, they'd wash it up and bring the glass out. No, you took the receipt and then they stamped it and ticked it off, wouldn't it, yeah. and give you what you had. So I had the hurricane glass and then the shot glasses. I will gladly be going back for them shots because they were lovely. But there was other ones we could try, didn't it? There was the three other, other ones. ones. Maybe we'll try them next yeah. time. Oh. Mum liked the look of, there was one and it was like vodka with a Quite lemon angry, ring yeah. and like sugar and salt on it. But they was I had a B fifty two, which was Kahlua, Bailey's, and Grand Marnier, <laughs> and then I had a bubble gum, which was Bailey's, creme de banana, and blue curaco. I think that's how you call it, curaco. Yeah. It's what they put in Blue Lagoon, and they went down like a very nice and easy. And then the weather took a complete turn. We yeah. left, and it was overcast, and then we come out, and it was baking. It was a bit like, oh, okay. The food itself, onion rings, 10 out of 10. Love the onion rings. The food was very good, they though, They didn't rush it? ya. It was just like the lady yeah. we had, Vesna, um, we need to do her review, actually, yeah. on that. all right. She was like, I'm not going to bother you. Just chill, do what you want. The chocolate cake was very rich, and I loved it. I think it was a bit too rich for my... Yeah, yeah. My mate, like, half of it and was like, oh, and I was like... Nice thick cream on it with chocolate sauce. But Shen, did you not say what we paid £30 each? I think we got, got the experience for about 70 quid, but that was in a sale. I yeah, think normal yeah. Hard Rock experience, the one we had, I think is roughly about £120. What, which each? still No, no, together. Oh, which 60. still £60 yeah, each, yeah. I think is still good the for The t-shirts were 25 weren't they? So we actually got a free t-shirt in our thing, which we'll yeah. show you in a minute. And then the food itself, like it's obviously not the main menu, you get... The starter was either a salad or onion ring, so very simple. Your dessert was chocolate cake, and then your mains, it was like the classic burger. But there was quite a few. I had salmon, didn't I? Yeah. I think the mains, there was about six to choose yeah. from. You had the salmon that mum had, the legendary burger. There was ribs and half a, half a rack of ribs and half a chicken. Yeah, yeah. There steak was salad. A, steak salad, what I had, and then there was a chicken truffle mac and cheese, which I That's was it, eyeing yeah. up. It was either the salad or the mac and cheese because I loved the mac and cheese when we went to, was it flat iron when we had the mac and cheese? Oh, yeah, with yeah, the and steak. them little tins. Yeah. So I was toying up between them. But we went to the original one. So she did tell us it's the first one that opened in 1970s. It's opened a long time, wasn't it? It was the first original. They also have two more. So they have one at Piccadilly Circus, which is open for breakfast from 9 a.m. I would like I to try, try that, that one because yeah. I've already eyed up the breakfast menu. Oh, what? And then the one in Oxford Street or Great Cumberland Street near Oxford Street is where you have the hotel, the Hard Rock Hotel. Oh, what? And they do afternoon tea there. Oh. But the afternoon tea is like mini hot dogs, mini burgers. Oh, it's like an American, an American thing. version. So oh, I wouldn't what? actually mind doing that maybe one day in the summer. We'll see what the prices are. We have a very busy itinerary for the summer as it is. Um, but yeah, so you have the original Park Lane, which is open for like lunches and dinners. And then Piccadilly Circus is your one for your breakfast. And Oxford Street is your one for your afternoon teas, your bottomless brunches, everything yeah. like that. So all in all, there's quite a good little mixture. They all have a shop with them. The only thing, we didn't go down to the vault because I think we just got waylaid and completely forgot, to be honest. But you can go down to the vault daily between, I think it said one and four, and it's like 20 minute tours. Oh. But now we know where it is, uh, it wouldn't be a thing if we just went down no, to yeah. that thing and just said went in and went to the vault. Because you, you can go in and have a drink without a meal, can't yeah. you? Yeah, there was quite a, a few people that were just in, sitting outside it? and drinking without the thing. So we did get a little carried away in the gift shop. And we went in the gift shop after we'd been in. We did go in beforehand to look and gauge a few prices and bits and bobs. And then I saw something that completely took my eye and I couldn't not stop thinking about it. So... We got the t-shirts, which I think mum had a palaver. We've got to keep the receipts for that lady. Mum had a palaver when the man brought out her size. So I said with my one. So yeah, the tops are £23.45. So you think like we got that in with our meal. Yeah. So even if you pay £60, because I'm sure it's £120 for the experience. So if it's £60 each for a wine and three course meal, you're paying just under £40 you get your top as well yeah which in london for Good. steak and a burger and everything like yeah. that so mum got the three x l thank you and did he say that was from the men's yeah that's from the men's because i know i'm not sure i'm not sure i said uh because what he, did he bring you at first he, he brought me a small one and i said excuse me no good 
<laughs> I said the girls, and he was like. So mum's got like a big oversized. They're not like they had when you go in there. They had oh, man, loads of different styles, tops. Like this is just the classic one that obviously you get yeah. free. But they had like a black version. They had oh mum's putting it on now. <laughs> I got plenty of room, so you can wear that with some cycling shorts, your leggings. Yes, go. I got mine in yeah, a medium. This is like a the Van Gogh one I got. Yeah. I've got I mine like in a, a medium, so it's a bit oversized. And then when people say, because I've still got to watch from when I went to the Hard Rock Hotel in Cancun when I stayed out there. I was 21. Oh, my God. And when people say, oh, when did you get your top? Mum will be like, we went there to eat. <laughs> Just please don't drop anything down. No. <laughs> and then, obviously, as I say, you get your glasses. So it's not the ones that I thought you just drink out of and they wash up. You actually get the proper glasses. Where are we? And so how, how much is that to buy? These are roughly, I'm sure I think they were like 17 or, or yeah. 18 pad. So this is the hurricane. And when I tell you that the cocktail was Four. best, and she said it's because they use the proper um measurements. They don't like skimp on the measurements. Oh. So if it says I feel the amount of rum that was in here, I would say the dark Double? rum. No, I would say you'd have maybe two doubles in that oh right i think you'd might have two as soon as i had a sip you could taste the rum eh? <laughs> mum's like <laughs> i was like oh lovely so i got the hurricane glass which i will of course be making um some little bits in and then because we got the shots we got some little shot glasses and obviously i had two shots so i got two glasses these i really like i can't even open. That, are they different designs no, no, it's just the same hard rock, but I thought it's always handy. Yeah, but I thought you said there was two different designs in the corner. One of them was um, like a little short tumbler one, but this oh, is right. the proper one that you get the hard rock logo. They had a little white cup, which kind of reminded me of a tequila cup. A little small one, wasn't it? Yeah, this is like the proper yeah. shot glasses. They also had... You got the same design? Yeah, it's the same. Oh, oh. I think the other one is called like a highball. You know, like if you have the lemonade, weren't it? Because yes, they yeah. had non-alcoholic drinks in there. I was looking for a pint glass, but I couldn't see a pint glass because I was going to get that one. They had a uh, guitar, no, drumsticks. A spatula, wasn't it? They had barbecue bits, £25 for a spatula because it was in the shape it's of a guitar. A tea towel, wasn't it? An apron. <clears throat> we did get magnets. They had um, Zippo lighters. The yeah, old-fashioned nice, lighters, wasn't it? Yeah. They had pins and badges, so if you've got certain jackets and that, that can go on it, like, um, is it you used to steam it on or iron it on? It's like patchwork. It, yeah, yeah, it? you iron it on, wasn't it? Like a school badge, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, they did have caps. The caps <clears throat> were 25 quid, but it's a good job I didn't because when I come in, the first thing I saw was my Hard Rock Cancun hat. Was it like the same? No, it's studded. So I already had a hat, but I didn't oh. have a top. I had a top from Cancun but not the original I had like one with all oh, um, right. bikes and everything on and then we got oh good job done though because the bag is going to split we got a little well mum saw the mug and liked the mug so mum had the mug which is wedged in the box I didn't think the mug was too bad this was 7 95 it was supposed to be 10 95 and it was down to 7 95 yeah. and you have Hard Rock London on the front and then it says, take time to be kind. Yeah, I like that. So mum liked that. So that was mum's little mug. I say, I've got the shop glasses. And then we also got a little key ring. I love this. The key oh, ring. Oh, I didn't see you snitch that in. So the key ring, I actually don't know how much the key ring was. Let's have oh, a look. Ten pound. Uh, <coughs> The key ring was ten pound forty five. Oh, well, it's not too bad. But it's because it moves. It like it spins around. See? Oh yeah, all right. <laughs> I will. If you know me, these key rings never ever actually go on my keys. I have a little box full of like key rings and bits and bobs, don't I? Mum's carefully trying to remove the thing. And then I got a magnet, and the magnet was eight pound forty five. They had loads, didn't they? Oh, that's a good one. You, I thought you the catch that in. <coughs> so they had some by the barbecue bits which were bottle openers oh they yeah the I tops thought those were but I saw this as I come in through at the checkout and it's just the angle changed slightly run out of memory again but yeah 
um a lot of the they did have ones that was hard rock london and it had like the double decker buses like they had a mug yeah, and a shot glass which was more i would say london tourism me ones as opposed to actual yeah. hard rock so are you having a two and eight there no you? no i'll just uh, <laughs> get it off another thing. and um I say there was quite a lot of them that had bottle openers. I was thinking of getting Dada one, but I don't think he he's got so many bottle openers and magnets. I don't think he'd appreciate and he it. And he very rarely has bottles, does not he? He'd just be like, "Why do I need that?" So I saw this one, and I say this was on with the keyring, and it's just the classic hard rock. So well, also, some places we go, they don't do uh, things, do they? They didn't have a pen though, did they? No, we did no. look for a pen. Yeah. They didn't have that. As you walked in as well, so where the mugs and everything was, there was like a little guitar, which I think was thirty pound. That is if I would say you're an avid collector or a rock and roll person but and you I want to play the cabinet. what that was. So it was a little guitar, a guitar figurine, it? but it yeah. had hard rock London and like painting on it. But I remember right. seeing them in Cancun. Right. So if someone was a collector or went around, I could see that's something they do. Right. So they had the mug and that. They had the shot glasses. They then had, I would call them thermo flask mugs, wouldn't it? It was yeah. the ones that you would lift the but lid and it would be a flask. It was nice, wasn't it, with the flowers on 55 quid the actual clothing in there is very expensive because you think as well it's been imported from america so it's like the signs taxes say taxes paid don't it yeah <clears throat> so um when we was looking through they had like a thermo i call it like a thermo flask cup wasn't it because it had the little slip across the top and it was an insulated one yeah they then had like the metal bottle they also had which is probably on par size with this, sippy cups. Yeah. So they had it, but it wasn't... So this is my one off of Amazon. It was kind of like a rub, like a studded rubbery one, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. And then it had like a circle with hard rock on. It was either in black or like an aqua mint green, yeah, and they yeah. were 20 quid. Which weren't too bad, really. Yeah. I thought that was okay. Considering what you got. And then as we were looking through, I saw this and I was like... <gasps> And there was only two left. And mum said, wait till we've had the food. And I'm thinking, if I come back and that's gone, I'd oh, be no, devastated. No, no, I'd be like, I need wrong. to have the one that's in the window. So I got myself a sippy cup. But you're going to see this and think, yes, this is sham. So the only difference was the other sippy cups come with metal straws. This comes with a plastic. But... I could always look on Amazon for a metal straw and pop it in. Like, it really does. I thought you would have had a hard rock straw on there. Well, no, probably because you didn't need to know oh, want to see it, would oh, it? No. But if I wanted a metal one, I can literally just go on Amazon. Oh. But I saw this, and I think mum knew as soon as I saw this that it I, was going to end up it, coming no, home. Yeah. But when mum said, oh, we'll go and eat first, and there was literally two left, yeah, I'm thinking... Yeah. If, and I think you was probably thinking as well, I if I come back I'll and let's go. I kept thinking, oh my God, I hope that's still there because she'll have the right arm going on. I'll have to keep running down towards the train. <laughs> and it's actually, it is on par. It is the same size, so I don't think that's actually bad. Let me put the straw in so you can get the full effect. So this won't be able to fall to drink that of it now. No, but you're going to have to get, you can't wash it. How are we going to wash it? Oh, I'll have to do it, Shannon. You won't be able to get any of the sides wet. Oh, I just had to put, put the little bottle thing inside then, didn't it? So, this was £38.45, okay? And part of me, when I got it, thought, I'm never using this cup, it's going in the cupboard. But, you can use it. I am going to use it. It will, oh, it will be for bougie occasions. So, I might do myself a cocktail in this on my birthday. Go on, it's going to be a special occasion cup. I feel like when I was 18 and 21, we've been through the stages. I got all of the glasses with 18 and 21. Yeah. This is going to be like my 28 cup. It doesn't have birthday on it, but this is like well, my... Well, when you're 30, history. Shannon, the, the expense won't be there like 18 and 21. Goodness me. So. Poor dad. <laughs> I got a very bedazzled, blingy sippy cup. It's nice, isn't it? It is very... I mean, I'm going to bring you in because it is very extra... I can assume there are going to be people watching this being like, that is just bougie. It is. I'm not going to lie. I love this. I might get a new little straw, but I thought this is like, I will know by looking at this. Like, even if we go to Piccadilly Circus, Hard Rock or Oxford Street, like, this is the first Hard Rock that we went to. Yeah. The original. 
and that's my like little treat to myself. I think you I could take it when you go. Of course. All right. I think I could have gone a lot more, more. Yeah. because I'd had a drink as well. I was feeling like very happy. Like I could have got that hoodie, and I could yeah. have got a full blown tracksuit, and I could have got the hat to match. Yeah, like, yeah. it could have been very disastrous. But the way I thought of it was... You've got bits here, haven't you? Yeah, and if we do go to the others, then maybe we could get, like, the T-shirt that will say Oxford Street. Oh, I don't know. So we know that Hard Rock Half London is the original. They might have one with, like, Oxford Street or, like, Mum might want the T-shirt in black, for example. Oh, so, yeah. so I thought there's no point getting it all in one shop. Oh, because yeah, I do a black one, don't they? Yeah, because I do think that we'll end up popping along to the others down the road so or if you get enough we might get another t-shirt and say can we have a black one yeah so i thought i don't want to get everything now but yeah that is very bougie and as i say as soon as i saw it it's not crystals <laughs> is it it's the effect isn't it yeah well that one is like diamond bobbled but that yeah. is like it is crystal by crystal so if you wash that and one of them come off oh, i've got still yeah there, do then? it rub your hand on it God, I, i'm oh. getting like really bad I'm going to get like PTSD with this. Oh, I'm going to be like... Oh. <gasps> well, if we do, I'll be running it back up and saying I want a refund. No exchange. <laughs> Put your pair for a cup. This is like... This probably isn't the type of cup to be used. I'm not going to lie, but I will use it. We'll just have to be very, very careful with it. Well, you can wash it then. <laughs> but I, I do like it. I say, as soon as I saw it, and I saw it before I'd had a drink, it caught my eye when I was teetotal. And then, like, Mum said, oh, we'll wait because you don't want to go into the restaurant with all the bags and that. So, we was like, mm. okay. And then, like, I'm thinking when I come out, oh, I hope they've still got that cup. Because it was quite busy when we went back. And I'm thinking a lot of people was at the teal. A lot of people yeah. had cups. And I'm like, please don't have the cup that I want. Well, surely, Shane, they would have had some in stock. But I don't know. I would have been like, can I, can I get it in your Oxford Street? And because of where we was, you could literally walk all the way down just one long straight road. I don't know how long it would have took you to Bond Street. So I'd been like, "Come on, get some slippers or something." We're walking to Bond Street. <laughs> okay, no, no. <laughs> the weather was actually really nice on the way back as well. We Very were sweating, nice. Weren't we? Oh, we we went rabbiting away. We didn't even tell you about the mains. Oh yeah, sorry. We've so You're digressed, thinking, yeah. didn't you? So um, I had a steak salad, and I will tell you this now: that salad, because it, it tells you the proper price on the receipts. That salad was supposed to be, I think. £21.45. Oh, does it go on the receipt? How much the stuff would be, yeah. Oh, I oh, was that Facebook do that? I would pay £22 for that salad. It was salad. nice, wasn't it? Was I massive, wasn't it? loved it. I don't normally eat tomatoes. And what when it come out and mum was like, oh, it's what? tomatoes, I ate it. It was like, it weren't just normal lettuce. It was like lettuce, spinach, rocket, all the stuff that yeah. mum don't like in a salad. And then... It had pickled so red onions, which I've actually been getting into because that's what we put on our burrito bowls. Mm. I actually don't mind that now. There was a little bit of cucumber in them. <laughs> little bits of cucumber. But the main thing was the wedges of tomato and it had blue cheese cubes with a blue cheese vinaigrette, the steak and then crispy onions. And we all know I love my crispy onions. So I was well and truly... It was last, wasn't it, when it came out? Mum's on the... <laughs> <laughs> mum's looked nice and mum's was nice yes, but mum's nice. had a little kick mm. you would have seen on one of the videos <laughs> if you'd have lip read and mum was saying oh hurry up with the wine because she took a bite of it and was like Ooh. no it had chilies on the top didn't it red ones and four little rest but she said just come in come in you, you will be alright you grit your teeth <laughs> mum's like it's hot it's hot but you got mashed with that and some green beans yeah the beans was lovely and with the onion rings, you got hot barbecue bourbon glaze, which was warm. And they were had a little kick, weren't they? Yeah, mum was like, oh my God, the sauce is spicy. I was like, it's just bourbon or mm. bourbon, whatever you say. Yeah. I love that. And I think it's little things like that that make the difference, like having the warm sauce with the onion rings. Like yeah. You don't normally get that. So it's all little unique. Like, you know what? I, I wish... I would have thought that they would have like something like I've a steak. tag on it. <laughs> That's right. A steak baguette. Well, maybe on the main menu. Oh, I see. Yeah. But I really wish we'd have like taken a serviette, but we'd been wiping our faces on them all. Yeah. Just like a little one. So next time we go, we're going to try and take a little serviette. Oh my God, so you eat them little uh, sticks on the counter. We'll oh, Mum wanted we'll the cocktail stirrers. Yeah. Mum wanted the cocktail stirrers. 
Yeah, it was a lot of stuff. Very central location. <laughs> it's literally, if you know where Hyde Park is for Winter Wonderland, it's two minutes up the road, yeah. if that. So now... You come out and go left, don't it? Now I'm thinking when we go Winter Wonderland... We're going to miss you. Because <laughs> your mum knows you because I didn't like the heights. I'm not going to miss you no more. <laughs> You can't go this I year. No, I'm not going. We'll go to the circus together. No, I'm not going on any parts because <laughs> you're at the hump. Mum has been very dramatic, if you remember last week. No, I, went, I don't like hearts. I don't, I don't know how I'm going to get on in the shower chain. But Mum, you've done the wheel the year before. But it was the smaller <laughs> wheel chain. All right, all right. You look on the film then and I can tell you it was a smaller wheel. The big wheel. wheel is the big wheel. No, that was new. <laughs> when we went the time, it was just a little one. Because we, the little door opened at the bottom and we could look look down and see the people. I mean, if you'd have opened your eyes, we, I was looking down and seeing the people. No, but that one was <laughs> double the size and you, I am right. You look back to when we went. <laughs> I, I will find that. Oh, we'll right, find that right. the same. Um, well, yeah, we're going to the Shard in yeah. August. <laughs> and then, see, this is a thing on her birthday... I have been sent quite a few offers for the uh, up at the O2. All oh, right. You know where you walk up the side of the O2? No, 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 no. I'm thinking, why not just turn Well, you can go up? with your friend. <laughs> You'll take your friend away. You can go. <laughs> we need to conquer your fears. I need to get that uh, man. Who's that man? You're with the room? Yuri Geller? No, no, that man who hypnotised you. Darren Brown? Is it all... Darren Brown, isn't it? Or is his name Paul something? Uh, what's the number he said about the the uh, draws? What's the Snow White and how many draws? Eight. That's right. And everyone laughs. It might be Darren Brown. And you're walking. You're talking, and they all go. Let us know if you know. I think it's Darren Brown. What who hypnotises you? I think so. I need to be hypnotised <laughs> to conquer my fear of heights. But all in all, guys, it was a good memory day. Good mm. food. And I definitely think we will be trying out the other branches for different things, like an afternoon tea. We can try out the breakfast. The breakfast does look nice. I'm not going to lie. I've already eyed it up. What's it for English? Yeah. Oh, right. Or you can get pancakes and waffles and all oh, like no, that. no, no, no. We just had the full You English. can get, I think, buttermilk chicken and waffles, which I was eyeing up as well. You know, oh, so for it's... breakfast? Yeah, buttermilk chicken. So a bit like a KFC. Shan, stop. What? What? You've got an eyelash attached to your dressing gown oh where's that come from oh don't blame me that i've <laughs> oh that's one of my new ones as well oh, they... oh there's the other one oh. viewers when they go missing she blames me and now it's stuck to shannon's dressing gown how has it got to there well keep them you've got a box <laughs> shannon put them in i'm what's gonna have to pair? i'm gonna have to defluff them yeah this was actually what i wore to the hard rock my new ones, right, we're going to put them all by my bedside table. Do I saw that? Because you said to me, Mum, where's the eyelash she's gone? <laughs> but, all in all, very, very nice. And I say, can't wait to get back and try the other ones. Where are we going this week? So this Sunday we are up Harrods for oh, champagne yeah. afternoon tea. So That's we, on the ground, isn't it? We already know that there's going to be a detour to the food halls. We're going to bring some sushi back. Yeah, if, if they're there... It is all the food hall, and that's still is there. Is it still there? The baby octopuses, right? They might even have a little look around for some, like maybe. Birthday I wonder how treats. much it'd be for uh, underground this time because it's five pound last time, wasn't it? I mean, if Mum wants to treat me to like a Cartier bracelet for my birthday, yeah, I won't say no. Yeah. Or a Louis Vuitton bag, you know. <laughs> I've got a few five uh, <laughs> fifty pound notes under the bed, you know. So yes, all in all, it was very, very good, and plenty more memory days to come out. Like there is quite a lot of vlogs coming over May, June, July, and August. And then you're going to have holiday vlogs. So, mm. hope you enjoy coming along and spending the day with us. Um, a lot of you commented on the George haul because I was a little bit tipsy because I had to film that the Sunday night and you said uh, all you kept doing was giggling. Oh, and your hair video has gone live and general consensus, everyone loves it. Oh, thank you so much. Everyone said it's took like 10, 20 years off you. Well, where's the 10, 20 years <laughs> gone then? It's just gone down to be yours. <laughs> so yes thank you to everyone who's left a comment i am trying to get through all the comments on mum's video but yeah we just need to keep styling it and working through see how it goes work it my dress did look all right sunday didn't it I yeah think I it looked good. better than what i did 
So guys, if you did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave us a comment. Have you been to the Hard Rock? Any other ones around England you think we should try? Abroad ones? Have you stayed at Hard Rock Hotel? What did you think of the food or the cocktails that we showed? But yes, take care. Stay safe as always. And we'll see you very soon for a brand new video, whatever that may be. I think it's going to be a haul. I think so. <laughs> Bye, guys.